Hey guys, Mike here, and today I am going to be showing you how I am painting the Death Guard uh, in Warhammer 40k, the new 8th edition. Um, these are not my models, these are the models that you can find in GW's uh, books, and this is the inspiration that I use when I'm going to paint the model. So let's go down to the table and take a look at uh, how I'm doing on these models. So, I have the Chaos Army here, and you can see there's a lot of different units here. You've got the big Chaos Marines, uh, and then we've got the, 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 this kind of a ship uh, that looks pretty cool, and uh, there's a, the, the, one of the knights. And then I'm going to put those aside for right now, though, because what I'm going to focus on today, or at the beginning of this video, is the pox walkers and you've got a bunch of little pox walkers there they're a little bit smaller lots of different sculpts lots of different types of them so there's, there's a couple of them there but what i like to do is i'll, I'll find one uh, out of the set here and i'm going to use it as like my template so i can find what color skin i want what colors i like to use so i'll just pick this one and for the for this video here for the pox walkers i'm just going to kind of go through this one and how I paint up this guy and then I'll show you some pictures later on, on some of the other guys. So I've already base coated these guys in Bugman's, Bugman's Glow uh, and what I'll do first is I want to kind of do some lightening up of this. So I'm going to use the Acadian Flesh Tone and I'm going to mix it though with some Lamian Median because I want to make more of like a glaze so that you can kind of see through it uh, whenever you're using it. So what I'll do first, I'll just shake them up a little bit, and I will add the Cadian Flesh Tone here to my palette, and then just put, you know, a couple drops um, of the Lamian Median. I'm not, you know, it's not, oops, get my hand out of the way here. Uh, so I'll just add, like I said, a few drops into the, into the palette there, get that mixed up nicely, and I can use that. So what I'll start with here is we'll just kind of start on the inside and we just want to kind of give a little bit more of that translucent look to this. So we want to kind of get it in there, but we definitely want the Bugman's glow on the back to show through. So you can see here, it's just kind of small things. I'm kind of working right on the outside of those innards that are kind of coming out. Now we're going to do some more with those in a little bit, but as you can see, it's just pretty good to, and it gives you kind of the look that I'm looking for right now. So I'm going to kind of do this over the whole model. Um, you don't have to watch the whole, you know, we'll kind of kind of jump forward here and you can kind of see what it looks like on the whole model. So there's the whole model done. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Macarab Blue and I am going to do his jacket. Um, his jacket, again, I'm going to do the outside of the jacket in the blue. I'll come back later and do some more details on his collar and other things. Um, but what I want to do now is just be very careful to go around. You've got a lot of holes in that jacket. So what you have to do is you've got to be careful that you don't get inside and do any of those skins because I've already kind of glazed them. So touching them up is really tricky because you'd have to put down the Bugman's Glow and then put the Cadian Flesh Tone over top of it. So I, I try not to hit those. So I finished up the majority of the coat here. Uh, and I think it looks pretty good. There's you can see, and I've got his collar, I've left that, and his head is really white. Um, I don't think I'm happy with that, how that skin tone turns out. Um, but I'm going to work on the inside first. And I'm going to take this Jukiai Violet, and I'm going to take this, um, and I'm going to kind of do the insides there, where you kind of see those innards coming out. Um, and, if you, and again, you can see I, I get a little bit too much in there, so I can just use that brush and it'll wick it right on out. But I want to kind of get in there and get the majority of the of the insides there covered with that Drukei Violet. And then I'm gonna come just on the outside there to where you can see kind of, you know, get kind of a little bit of a transition there from those from those insides out. I'm also gonna do like the mutation on his on in his arm. So any of the mutations, I want to go ahead and get those with the Drukei Violet as well, um, to kind of give them a little bit of difference to this normal skin tone. So there you can see with the Drukei Violet, but what I want to do now is I actually want to bring in and make it a little redder. So I'm going to use the Caribou Crimson as well to come in. Um, but I don't, the Caribou Crimson is a little bit dark coming in, and I think I, w I don't want to lose too much of that. So I'm going to take some of the thinning medium again, and I'm going to put that into the uh, Caribou Crimson, and I'll use that thin down a bit. Um, if you can see, you know, there's the difference 
between the, the pure and then the thin down version. You can see how much lighter it is. And again, that lets the, the violet show through a little bit more so that you're going to get a, a nice gradient and you'll get uh, you know just a, a varying of shades inside his body in there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use that on some more of the skin there. So I think I took that white and I've sort of brought that back a bit now in, in the bulk of his skin. I've used that. And I'm also going to use it on his back there. You can see where I'll take that and I'll use the, the caribou crimson wash that I've done. And I'm just doing that on the back and the most of the skin tones. And I'm not using the violet on the back. That's more for like the insides. This is just the caribou crimson that I've got here on the back. And again, as you can see, when you put these washes on, it really just brings those, those details right out uh, of, the, uh, of, the, of the model. So there he is, kind of with the insides done. You can see I've kind of moved more to a reddish tone on the skin. Um, and, and again, I touched up a couple of other things. I, you know, finished him up a little bit there, painted his hammer, I mean, you know, painted it brown, did some shading there, so nothing major there. So that's what he kind of looks like done. And I will use him as my template for the rest of those pox walkers. And see, so again, so I took him and I kind of let him sit up on my shelf there in front of me when I, when I use him, uh, when I, after I painted him. And I think he turned out pretty good. Uh, he's all highlighted and done. I don't have any of the bases because Rob didn't give them to me yet. Um, but see, here's a couple of the other guys, but you can see the same theming. You can see the same color skin. I'm, I'm experimenting with some green as well there to try to give that little more decay look there. So that's why you see a little bit of that. But they they all have a little bit of uniqueness to them, but they all look like an army, which is really important when you're doing, you know, Marines are all blue, all red, all white. These guys, I want to still make sure that they all look like they're the same, but have a bit of uniqueness to them. So I think that, I think that the, the, the pox walkers have really turned out nice. Um, I, like, uh, I like the orange jumpsuit look. Uh, I like how they kind of look like they had a little bit of their old clothes on. So what I want to show now is the beginnings of how I'm doing the, the Chaos Marines. What I did here is there's a new color that has come out for the Chaos Marines, which is the Death Guard Green, but it's not out yet. Um, the Death Guard Green doesn't come out yet, so I had to ch choose something else. So I just kind of used um, the uh, Xander, Xandry Dust, and I took the Xandry Dust and I painted all of the Marine models that color with the Xandry Dust. And as you can see, it really doesn't dull the detail at all. Um, and I actually, for the first time, I, I've never used this before, I actually went with a big spray can of the Xandry Dust. Now, they told me they're going to be coming out with a Death, green, Death Guard Green in the spray as well. And man, I, I really recommend that. So I thought, okay, I'll take this, I'll use Athonian Camel Shade, and I'll just bring them back. Well, when I was at the store, I actually bought Beltine Green instead of Athonian Camel Shade. But, but that's okay. I'll take the green. I'll take some Agrax Earthshade, mix it in there because the, the Beltan Green is just a bit brighter, so I can kind of use that. I'm going to thin it down a bit, and I'm just going to kind of make uh, a recipe there. So I, I've done like around 20 drops of the green, and then I'll come back and do about 10 drops of the Agrax Earthshade, and then about 7 drops of the thinning. Now I have to remember that because I've got so many Marines, I write that down so that when I go through, because I'll run out, it'll dry up, so I'll run out, so I always can, you know, so I always can make the same. And that's why I love those dropper bottles, man, because I can really get the color that I'm looking for there. So this will work out great. So what I'll do is I'll just take this Marine now, who's all painted up in the Xandry Dust uh, spray, it's all dry, and then I'll just get this green. And we're going to take this green and we are going to just put it over everything. Now, I will leave some parts that I know, like the guns, that don't need to be green. But everywhere else, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go at it and go at it green. Some places, like some of the backpack, I don't know yet where I'm going to go with it. Um, so I'll go green with it. If I go anything else, it's just going to go darker. So I'm not really worried about, uh, you know, 
if I if I paint something green now that's going to turn out to be black or it's going to turn out to be something like that, no big deal. Um, so we'll just go ahead and get the, and just work this thing throughout this entire model uh, and to the point where I dropped him. And then you can see then, you know, he's just covered in it. So I'll put him up to dry. And I did a couple of other ones here earlier that are dried already. And you can see they come out with a really nice looking green. Uh, I think for the plague, uh, you know, Marines, I think it's a great look for them. I think that... Um, you know, I think I can't wait to see what the Death Guard green looks like as a base shade. Um, but I think for making a mistake at the store and, and you know, using what I've got there, I think that these, these couple Marines came out really well. And again, now they're base shaded and everything. So now I'm just going to highlight them up, paint up the details on them, and everything will be ready to go. So come by and check out our playthrough, and we look forward to seeing the table.